Hello and welcome to a new lesson. We have our room set up. Now let's do something really quick for the all the layers of the room. I will select a color, maybe orange, so that we can identify all of our walls, the ceiling and the floor. For the creepy character, let me choose a blue color and the adjustment layer can be this color okay so let's turn off our ceiling and we will add now some light to this room we will not add the camera right now the camera will come later but we will add a new light so go to layer go to new and select light on light on light type Let's call this not parallel, not spot, not ambient, but point. Now we can call this room light and the in intensity we will get to that later. Leave everything as it is right now. Click OK and now you will have some light which is this one. This little thing right here. This is the light and you can see how it is acting on the room if we turn it off you can see how much it changes so what I want is this light to be on the ceiling so right now you can see if we hit the custom view you can see that it's here practically on the entrance of the room so I'm going to select the C axis and make sure that it's here close to the statue and let's set this to active camera on this camera I will take this and place it on the Y axis a little to the top now I'm going to open the light settings here we have the transform which is the position that we don't need to change anymore now on the light options I'm going to increase the intensity to 150 you can see that we have more light now and I'm going to change the color I'm going to take this blue this like greenish blue and around here around this point just take a dark blue or a medium blue and click OK let's see how it looks I think it should be lighter yeah this is a nice color look at how the color is now around the, the room but let's increase the intensity then to 180 like this or maybe go up all, all the way up to 200 yeah this is fine now I'm going to duplicate this room light with control and D and now I'm going to take this duplicate and place it here on the back of our character so now we have two lights two set of lights here on the room but as you can see with this duplicate the intensity of the light went up too much so let's go back to our options and let's set it again to 150 on this one on the on the front one the back one can be can stay like this now I like how these two look but now I want to animate these lights because the idea is that this room will be really creepy so I want this to animate to the right and to the left all the time so let's open the position for both of them let me zoom in here and I'm going to click here on the stopwatch of one of them to create the two keyframes and now I'm going up 
one second and I'm going to change the position of the X axis which is this one, the first one. I'm going to change this position until it gets almost to the right wall over here. Let's see how this looks. Alright, I like that. Now, on this second it will go back to the original position so we will copy the keyframes the first keyframes here and then on the third second they will go let's take them both and set the X axis and place both legs to the far left until they touch the left wall and finally on this fourth second I'm going to again copy the first the original position so in the end I will have something like this okay this looks really good now I'm going to copy all these keyframes except the first one because the first one is copied here and I'm going to create several copies of all this group of keyframes remember that it has to be one second apart of each other let's go on till we have 24 seconds is perfectly fine so let me do the same for the second light alright so we now have the lights on a very long loop so this is getting as creepy as I want you can see how cool it is to work with the lights it looks very real I like the fact that it's getting bright here and then dark here it gives a, a creepy look and that's exactly what we're after here so let's go to the next lesson